Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about multiplication of polynomial functions. And uh, before we start, multiplication of uh, polynomial functions is, is very, very important to uh, talk about multiplication of terms. We do have uh, some examples here. Let's, let's do the examples and we'll proceed to multiplication of polynomial functions. In the first example, we do have uh, uh, 2x times 3y. Uh, th these terms are not like, but uh, we can multiply them. So when we multiply terms, we multiply the coefficients and uh, we, we consider that as a, as a coefficient of the product and we, we multiply the variables, okay? 2 times 3 is 6 and uh, 6 will be multiplied with xy so the product of 2x and 3y is uh, 6xy. And in the next example, we do have uh, like terms. Uh, when we multiply terms, they can be like or unlike but still, we can multiply them. So in the second example, we do have 2y with minus 3y. So let's multiply the coefficients because that's going to be the coefficient of the product. So 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Then y times y is exactly y squared. Because we do have y which is equivalent with uh, y to the power of 1. And uh, y to the power of 1 times y to the power of 1 will be equivalent with uh, y to the power of 1 plus 1. Which is exactly equal with y squared. So the product of these two terms is minus 6y squared. The next example is... 3x to the 4th and 1 over 6x to the 7th. So, to multiply these uh, two terms, uh, uh, we, we need to multiply the coefficients first and uh, uh, the, the, the variables next. When we multiply uh, terms with uh, common base and different exponents, we always keep the common base and add the exponents. So, x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 7 is uh, equal with x to the power of 4 plus 7. So this is exactly equal with 1 over 3 x to the power of 11. So the last example is uh, kind of different from, from uh, the other examples because uh, we've, been, we've been multiplying monomials but this is, this is multiplication of binomials and uh, procedurally it's uh, kind of different. Then when we multiply binomials, we multiply every term of uh, the first binomial with every term of second binomial and then uh, we, we, we operate just we operate them under addition or subtraction and then uh, we'll have uh, the, the product of the binomials so when we multiply 2x minus 3 with uh, x plus 2 we uh, are going to multiply 2x with x and 2x with 2 then minus 3 with x and minus 3 with 2 so 2x will be multiplied with x plus 2 and minus 3 will be multiplied with uh, x plus 2 then this can be expanded as 2x times x plus 2x times 2 and uh, minus 3 times x and minus 3 times 2. And then the product of 2x and x is uh, 4x squared. And then 2x times 2 is 4x and minus 3 times x is minus 3x and minus 3 times 2 is uh, minus 6. So we do have like terms here, 4x and minus 3x. We can operate them under subtraction, then their difference is exactly just 1. 1 times x will be exactly uh, x. Then the simplified form is 4x squared plus x minus 6. I mean, this is the, the product of uh, the two binomials. So this is, this is very important. If you understand this, you can easily multiply polynomial functions. So the product of any two polynomial functions is uh, defined as f of x times uh, g of x for every x from a uh, set of real numbers. Remember that every polynomial function that uh, we are considering at this level is uh, a polynomial function over the set of real numbers. And then let's, let's consider one example and uh, we will end up the session. So we do have uh, two functions f and g and we're asked to find the product of uh, the two functions. Then we just define the product of any two functions as f of x times g of x and g of x is given by uh, this function and uh, g of x is uh, given by this one. So I just try to give a different color uh, and uh, you can identify the two different functions with uh, their color so you can multiply them easily. And then the next procedure is going to be when we multiply polynomial functions, we always multiply every term of the first polynomial with every term of uh, the second polynomial. So we multiply 2x to the power of 3 with all terms of second polynomial function, minus 5x squared with all terms of second polynomial function, x with all terms of uh, second polynomial function and minus 7 with all terms of uh, uh, second polynomial function. So it looks like this one. This is the way, the way that we multiply polynomial functions. 
So this can be expanded at the expression just given below. And then th th this will be this will be uh, equivalent with uh, 16 x to the power of 5 minus 2 x to the power of 6 plus 8 x to the power of 4 plus 10 x to the power of 3 minus 40 x to the power of 4 plus 5 x to the fifth minus 20 x to the power of 3 minus 25 x square plus 8 x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 4 plus 4 x square plus 5 x minus 56 x to the power of 2 plus 7 x to the power of 3 minus 1 x minus 35 just multiply every term just seriously and uh, operate them under addition and subtraction then you can you can simplify this way now you do have you do have like terms here see you don't like terms group group them together because you can add them you can subtract them then uh, group degree five terms together degree six terms together actually we do have a, a single uh, degree six term just uh, the only term is minus two x to the six and uh, group the, the degree four terms together degree three terms together and degree two terms together and uh, degree one terms together even the constant term together so 16x to the power of 5 plus 5x uh, to the power of 5 is uh, uh, equal with 21x to the power of 5 and we have minus 2x to the power of 6 here and then uh, we, we can put it as a leading term uh, because uh, this is uh, the term with uh, the maximum exponent and then uh, we can put it just uh, uh, as a leading term and uh, the, the uh, sum of uh, the degree 4 terms is equivalent with minus 33x to the power of 4 and uh, the sum of the uh, degree 3 terms is equivalent with 5x to the power of 3 and the sum of the degree 2 terms is equivalent with minus 77x to the power of 2 and uh, uh, the difference of uh, the simplified form of uh, the degree 1 terms is equivalent with minus 23x and uh, the constant term minus 35. This is the product of f and uh, g of x. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.